Every time I watch the Spanish, whether it be in the Euros or the World Cup, they bore me so much. I expect them to do something different, you know, all the trophies that they've won, no, they're just boring. <laughs> Welcome to episode 67 of You Squad Legends Series 9 with Yeovil Town. First game of this episode, we're away against Bournemouth. Don't know why Jan Luke Hayne is modelling the Yeovil Town shirt, he's still injured. Bernardo Lobo, here's Tyrone Digby. Ludwig with enough time to pick out the pass he up. Jan Luke Minotti clips it up. It's Luer on his weak foot. You have the chance to hit it with your left there. Why? Tyrone Digby with the move. Here we go, on your proper foot. Thank you, Michael Lewer, 1-0 Yeovil. Oh, oh, come on, Mikey Witch. I was in the prime position there to take the ball, but Mikey Witch's height's always been a problem. Usually he doesn't get caught out like that over Dalgaard's head. He could have done better with it. Free kick Bournemouth. It's be interesting if they uh, somehow score this. Agude lays it off, slide tackle. Doesn't touch the ball. Shot comes in. It's wide. Well, it's been nice and open in the first 26 minutes. Let's hope it continues like that. Agude loses the ball completely. Vitus Ludwig onto Andreas Ramos, who's onside, and that is a penalty. What have we got here? Penalty take. Oh, 75, 78, 81, Tyrone Digby. Yeah, let's go for Tyrone. And I'll be placing it in the left hand side. Yeah! We're back in the lead. A lot of praise in the comments section for Tyrone Digby. He's, he's a live wire. He's very energetic. And he does get the job done in the midfield. It's a good day with the corner kick. And we've lost another header. Yay! Bournemouth are back level. Well, it's not short of goals. It's just that our defending has been truly atrocious. And I'm just going to blame the fact that we haven't got Tom Evans on the pitch. Oh, it's Tyrone Digby. He scored again. Yes! Marvellous dribbling skills by the midfielder that I've just praised myself. Makes the defender with a shot. Oh, not another one. Oh, Albert Klosterman. Excellent piece of defending. Half time, 3 2 to Yeovil Town. Terrific defending by Klosterman to make sure that we go into the half time break in the lead. Oh, whoo, good save, Dalgard. End-to-end -end stuff here. You don't usually see these kind of matches on FIFA 16. That's out. Wait, we've actually dealt with... Oh, I say we've dealt with a corner kick. Another shot comes in, and that was from Agude. Just don't know why we can't shut these guys out. Mackie, which is having one of the worst games of his career. I've not brought a centre-back. Uh, okay, well, we'll have... Makiewicz come off for Bonazzoli and Alves is going to have to play centre-back. Well, it seems to have took a touch off one of my defenders. They hit the crossbar. We can't stop them. Dalgard has made five saves. And everything that we've put on target has resulted in a goal. Klosterman falls over. He's injured. Really, guys? Corner kick. Bournemouth with the ten shots. Only the ten shots in the game. How we've managed to win it, I just don't know. Joshua Doody looks like he's moving up in the world of football. He'll be going to Sevilla from Wolfsburg. Play returns from injury. This is Jean-Luc Hayne ready to play some first team games. Right, it's time to look at the new signing. Santos Fernandez starts on the left wing. Yeovil Town against Sunderland. Elliot scores. Plays it into Kieran Aziz. Back. Fantastic one-two, good footwork, and that just about trickles over the line for a corner kick. Gianluca Minotti. Oh, you know what? The winger was there. Don't know why he's the one that's taking up the front post position. You know, we need a big guy there. Do do some skills. Oh, he has done some skills. Look at him. Oh, he lost the ball. Ludwig with the throw in. He'll play it back to Magugan. Ludwig could have ran inside there. That would have helped me out. Elliot scores. Alves. Try and break down this defence. Very cluttered. Oh! Oh! That's a goal! Fantastic stuff by Elliot scores! Wow! 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 What a finish! 
just had a little bit of freedom to look up and try and pick his spot in that top corner. No, you're not getting past Tom Evans. I'm sorry, mate. Let's have the music, please. This could be an interesting run. It's Tom Evans! Skipping past one and then being taken down by another. Oi! Oh! Tom Evans in the crossbar! Really need to stop doing this. Oh! Oh! Evans! Magnificent! Wonderful! <laughs> Tom Evans! Out! Oh, he's there doing his defensive duties. And they're intercepting the play. Hmm, soft free kick to give away. Well, the 58th minute, 59th minute. Collector by Dalgard. We can kick that one away to the winger, to the new winger. Yes! What a huge chance to score a third. It's Andreas Ramos. Oh! That should have been in. Vitus Ludwig driving forward. Elliot scores. It's onside. I don't know why he had to skip over the ball. But there's a third goal. Because Elliot scores know where the back of the net is. Yes. Ludwig showing his strength. Oh, skipping past the challenge. Playing in Elliot scores for the hat trick. That just doesn't happen. And now Andreas Ramos has got a smug expression on his face. Like, yeah, you can't finish on your left foot either, mate. Chance. Drilled in. What a save by Dalgard. That is impressive, mate. Dalgard in the last two games. <laughs> He's been on fire. Here comes Sunderland again. Trying to ruin that clean sheet. And they have done it. Wilfred Zahar with the goal. I'm disappointed for him. Uh, he was so close to getting something. He, he truly deserved our goalkeeper. And that's full time. I would say something about the winger. But he really didn't do anything. And I can't really blame him for not doing anything because he's been playing against Tavares, who's one of the best regen right backs in the Premier League right now. I think he's about 82 overall. I think we're all in agreement that this is the best squad that I've ever made on Youth Squad Legends. But it doesn't mean to say that I can't add. Here's Julian Labourne. I have shown you him before. He played in the French League, I think. He joined Southampton at the start of this season on a free. But they're in the Championship. Maybe if we put in a tempting offer, they'll be more than happy to let him go. Well, it was pretty easy to get him on board. £15 million the transfer fee that we've paid for him. Probably too much. I haven't checked him. I haven't scouted the guy. I know that he's above 80 overall. We've got enough money. Just get him into the club without any hassle. FA Cup time, fourth round, Yeovil Town against Burnley. The Borne. First touches in that Yeovil Town shirt are very positive. Steaming in. Williams. Nearly got an assist. Oh, I didn't know that speed was going to be one of his key attributes. We'll be finishing off this episode after this game. It's uh, It's been good. Action packed. Neil Reach. Oh, that's a finish. There we go. 1 0. We don't want to go all the way in the FA Cup this season. It's fantastic to actually see the wing backs getting involved. Run, Tom. Be free. Do Tom Evans things. Yes. Oh, don't, no, you're not injured from that. Come on, Tom, stop acting. Yeah. Well, this Hewitt kid's a bit quick. Oh, nice ball in as well. Burnley could have equalised there. Just need to realise that we're still only 1-0 up here. Very comfortable, but it's only a one-goal cushion. This needs to happen. A goal needs to be scored, and it's Nick Williams with that job. Big save. I've just got Jean-Luc Hayne back from injury, and now Nick Williams is down. Yes, a chance to shine. Santos Fernandez. Here we are. Darting inside and out, and Babio's there. Can't get the second goal. Well, the opposition goalkeeper has tried his best to keep Burnley in the game, but their attack have been nowhere to be seen. Jean-Luc Hayne. Oh, <laughs> that is superb. Welcome back. Wonderful goal. It's just chipped up by the new kid. Jean-Luc Hayne watches it all the way, takes two touches, and bang. 
Some real quality in the goals we've scored this episode. That's what I like to see. I really have enjoyed playing with the new signings. I think they do bring a little bit extra to this already superb Yeovil Town side. Ooh, player injured. Broken elbow for Nick Williams. He'll be out for about two months. So that's it for this episode of U Squad Legends. Yes, it's been a classic U Squad Legends without my face in the top right. It was my fault, simple mistake, when I was recording the episode. The webcam will be back next episode. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, and I'll see you next time.